Okay, so here we are at the high point of the show, seconds away from finding out if there truly is a basketball court inside the mountain. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to the truth. Now, this is what we call a backstage area, an area that very few guests ever get to see. So it's easy to understand how Disney legends begin. Now, we're high inside of the Disney Matterhorn looking for one of these legends. And here you have it, a basketball court, or at least a half court. Now, let's get the real story of how it got here. Walt Disney uh, thought what would be the strangest thing to put up there and uh, he talked to the people that were both the mountain climbers and the ride operators and what would you like to use that space for because it was a big empty space up above where the roller coaster ride runs around from about two thirds on down but that upper third the pointed part was empty and so they put their heads together and they said you know we'd like to play basketball i gotta tell you i i used to work in the park and uh, we happened to be working in the Matterhorn one night, and uh, we had gone all the way up to the top, and we came down, and you know, we knew the rumor about the basketball court, and as we're coming down the stairs, we all stopped, and at the same time, it's like we turned around, there is a basketball hoop up there, and uh, I made a couple of free throws, so that's one rumor that's actually true. Now, this room still serves as an all-purpose recreation area for the Matterhorn mountain climbers. Now, since I've traveled so far, it would kind of be a shame if I couldn't get a game in before I head back down. The next time you visit the Matterhorn at Disneyland, here's something special to look for. A tribute to the late Frank Wells, a former president and COO of the Walt Disney Company. He was a mountain climbing enthusiast, and these expedition boxes honor his attempts and success at climbing the highest mountains on seven continents around the world.